Welcome to the Derby program. We're actually going to start with a very important call in a couple of minutes. In a couple of minutes' time. Sun's coming up in Sydney. Finding so much sun here. We're glad you can join us for the broadcast. The first on our program, of course, is the Woodford Turf Classic. <coughs> and she kicks off in one minute and 27 seconds that's right on the one is Drunk Mind Parade and I'll just have a look at what the odds are here have a look at what the odds are before they jump Well, that's the two. A lot of money for Drunken Mind Parade. Barbarino is three to two favourite as expected, but um, uh, Dead Silent, who's over the odds at 16 to 1, has lost a little bit of form lately, but might come back into it. AW's X ray eyes is 5 to 1. 5 to 1, even money for Fusion. There's yours. Wind Walker is 17 to 1, and Car Truck wins again, but can tell you it is 10 to 1. A bit of money for that. But in fact, the favourite will pretty much start Barbarina. The big money has come for Drunk and Mind Parade. We're just going to have a quick look at the. We're going to close that one down. We've got six seconds for the start, folks. About to break, set, racing, racing of the first on the program as far as Justin TV is concerned and Fusion has jumped pretty well with car truck wins again and X-ray eyes. Three and four from going for the lead with Drunken Mind Parade about a length away on the inside there is, uh, let's see who it is, it's uh, number two which is pushing up now Barbarino and then about a length and a half off there to Windwalker and last of all is Dead Silent dropping out the last. As they come down the stretch for the first time and they hit the winning post and there's uh, exactly about 1400 metres to go. It's Fusion and X ray eyes going hammer and tong. X ray eyes, eyes could dominate here if he gets to the fence. He's trying to cross to the fence. He leads the way by about a long neck on Fusion. Drunk Mind Parade's in a lot closer than usual from that good uh, barrier. Then Barbarino in a nice stalking position. Just still caught three wide as car truck wins again. Two and a half lengths off there to Windwalker and Dead Silent hasn't tacked on yet. They're up the back to half mile and 0 14. And the leader is X-Ray Eyes, dominating in front, two lengths in front of Fusion. About three quarters of a length away is Barbarino. Then over on the inside is a Drunk Mind Parade. Then about a length there, uh, dropping off just a little bit is Car Truck Wins again. Wind Walker moving into it slowly. And just out of camera's range now is Dead Silent. They get onto the home corner, the half in 0 14, And the three quarter now in 1 10 20. X ray eyes has put down the pedal to the metal. He's about five or six in front of Barbarino. Barbarino seems to be struggling. Uh, then on the inside of it there is Fusion. He's not going that well. Going past him now is Drunk and Mind Parade and coming into it nicely is Wind Walker. Car Truck wins again as out of camera's range and Dead Sign hasn't come into its own yet. In the straight though, it's all one way traffic. X ray eyes about six. Maybe six weeks in front now. Barbarino struggling in second. Not as good uh, maybe on the turf. Down the outside coming into it nicely there is Drunken Mind Parade. And also Wind Walker. They'll probably fill the placings. But as they hit the line there, it's X-ray eyes. Probably by about six lengths. An easy win in the Woodford Turf Grade 1. Barbarino second. Third Drunk Mind Parade. Wind Walker made a little ground late. Fusion dropped off. Dead silent second last of all. And Car Truck wins again. Came in last in 148.15. The winner's time in 144.34.
144.34. That is an amazing time. Uh, X-ray eyes uh, Australian wide. That is fantastic work. He's absolutely dominated from the front. Once he got the lead from Fusion, it was only a matter of time uh, before he dominated when he got to the fence. And the turf champion has just um, clearly cleared away there from the rest of the field. And they're all carrying um, the 124 pounds being older horses. And it was uh, Barbarino holding up the second was fine tickling Richard Migliori. Um, third there was, let's see who was third. Um, was running on quite nicely. I think it was Dr Drunk Mind Parade then followed on by Wind Walker. But we haven't got the, uh, the full dividends up yet. Let's have a look at the tote market. You know, the money came very solid. Um, X-ray eyes actually started very good in the ring there at five to one. Uh, five to one X-ray eyes Australian wide. Um, James Theriot rode the winner and did a beautiful job there for Australian wide. Uh, Fusion Eastern Equine must be a little bit disappointed with that run. Um, once he gets into a, a bit of a heated battle, Fusion he um, and he doesn't get his own way. Um, he struggles a little bit against uh, these top older horses. And uh, Wind Walker, he made good late ground. Drunk Mind Parade was ridden a lot closer than usual and um, he was he filled the bill there. Barbarino did what he could. Um, the money came for him and um, they weren't quite on the mark. So a pretty good run there for Spine Tiggling and Richard Migliore. That time is just amazing. Uh, 1.44 um, Okay, what we're going to do now is just wait for the dividends uh, the, the prices were 10 to 1 um, car truck wins again here's a little bit disappointing and possibly slightly outclassed uh, Win Walker, uh, he was 18 to 1 I thought uh, he ran a very good race to run for uh, 5 to 1, both equal of X-ray eyes and fusion and then it was 16 to 1, uh, dead silent and Barbarino um, started eight to five, so um, very very short there. Nearly in the red, and five to two, the money came for Summer Hill Farms with uh, J.R. Lipro, Lipero on board for Summer Hill Farms Drunken Mine Parade. We're still waiting for the dividends to come up, folks. The sun has just come up here in Sydney, and it's absolutely blinding. We'll move in, into a better position and, and see who possibly may be in Billy's chat room. And uh, it's uh, very exciting. We're only about less than an hour away from the the Kentucky Derby now. We'll go through those runners. There's been a sensation overnight during maintenance period. And we'll actually um, talk about that with power racing, um, scratching for ZZ Equine that believes his horse is all, all a go. There we go, there's the dividends there. X-ray eyes, $12.10 for the win. Uh, for a place, $5.10 and for the show, $3.20. Number two, Barbarino, $3.90 the place, $2.60 for third or for the, or for the show and Drunken Mind Parade third, $2.60 for the show. The exactor has paid $12.90 the exactor has paid $12.90 and $37.20 the trifecta for 4, 2 and 1. That's 4, 2 and 1, $37.20. And it seems as though everyone in the uh, handicapping pool might have ha come close to having that one. Um, I thought it would have paid a little bit better than that, but the money, the money has come, as I did mention, for drunk, Drunken Mime Parade.